Hi, my name is Shweta Malhotra. I'm a Delhi-based visual artist and a creative director. Yeah, I think I was uh, always interested in art. Uh, I remember when I was in school, I participated in almost every drawing or painting competition. Uh, and I think I took a long break in that journey and around 10 years back I started painting again but the intention was not to make a career out of it but yes uh, by the grace of God I do. Uh, photography came uh, as a surprise so yes uh, I'm somebody uh, so be it any art form I would say be it photography uh, be it painting I remember I started learning Kathak uh, or baking it's the process that you know that interests me so anything you know whatever art form it may be if, if I enjoy the process it, you know it's more like an art form for me then uh, I think any kind of uh, art form uh, can be self-taught especially when it comes to street photography uh, what you need the most is the books you know when I also started I think I we all uh, go through the same process you know because Instagram is so much accessible we scroll the pictures we just see you know the compositions the light and we just go ahead with you know trying to probably copy it or trying to create something very similar what we are looking at but what we need to learn is why the particular photographer made that shot so you know I remember I was going through uh, one Magnum photographer's uh, uh, interview and there you know he he was he mentioned it specifically that you know if you want to become a good street photographer so just make sure you read enough books you know on that subject so I, I remember I picked up quite a lot of books I read them then I started investing money in coffee table books so it's not now the you know once you understand why that particular picture was made then you don't focus on the composition you also try and see when you're out there that you know why you have to make that make that picture what is there you know in that picture that that is the what what is basically calling you once you know what is calling you then you'll make the picture then the process of unlearning will start that took me some time to understand you know what is this process of learning and then unlearning learning is you know whatever you're picking up in the beginning when you start you you see you know the basically it's more about the compositions and you know who's doing what and uh, maybe if you have a mentor if you have friends whatever you pick from them is something you know you're just registering yourself and this is what you feel that this is what I want to do but then you close yourself in a box coming out of that box is very important and uh, th that can be done you know, on your own you don't need uh, a college degree or uh, a professional degree for that but I'm not saying that it's irrelevant because uh, when you go for a formal training as well you know uh, I think the the journey becomes much shorter and easier for you because you have uh, professionals there you have masters there who can teach you can guide you the entire process of uh, how to go ahead with any kind of art form you want to get into uh, and uh, you know when I when I got into street photography I, I heard from a lot of especially Indian street photographers that you, know, you cannot monetize street photography uh, internally to be very honest with you I took it more like a challenge that why you cannot why everybody says this thing that you cannot monetize it you know what if you make good pictures and if you do things smartly so I, it's not that I don't believe in hard work I remember my father always saying this thing in, uh, uh, with all due respect that 
मेहनत रिक्शे वाला भी बहुत करता है आप रिक्शे वाले से ज़्यादा मेहनत नहीं कर सकते हो जो 12 घंटा रिक्शा चला रहे इट्स ऑल अबाउट हाउ स्मार्टली यू डू इट सो ऑफ कोर्स डू द हार्ड वर्क बट देन जस्ट मेक श्योर यू नो दैट यू नो विच इन विच डायरेक्शन यू आर यू आर गोइंग एंड प्रॉब्ली यू नो जस्ट कीप ट्राइंग न्यू थिंग सो इट्स नॉट समथिंग दैट यू नो वॉट आई एम डूइंग इज समथिंग न्यू नो बड इज एवर थाट ऑफ बट आई ट्राइड यू नो टू प्रॉब्ली present my work in a way which looks more like a visual experience when i say visual experience it's more about uh, you know collaborating with ngos uh, working on uh, their projects and taking those projects to corporates and then you know working with them on because all these corporates have some kind of csr funds and they always need Uh, some creative idea where you can you know they can invest that money and the money goes on you know money goes uh, for the right cause so here uh, i fill that gap you know which is there i uh, i try to create a body of work you know and fill the gap between the corporate and the ngo or any trust and present a body of work maybe in kind of exhibition in a you know in the form of coffee table book in in form of souvenirs anything you know it's all about how you how you how the company wants to see it and what best will work with the body of work that you have created of course it's it's in the sync with what the company wants what the corporate wants and what the ngo is actually doing but it's all about how do you want to connect the dots we all do coffee table books we all take prints of our pictures we all do experiment with mixed media at times it's it's about thinking you know what if i do it for somebody else and try to make money out of it it's 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 as simple as that so i keep returning to old delhi uh, the reason was you know whenever and whosoever is a street photographer i think access plays a very important role when we begin so uh, i remember when i started doing street photography just for saying it you know i remember i realized it much later and the connection with old delhi developed with you know with old delhi developed with time but yes access was the right word i would say you know because i knew it's closer to my house if i'll go i'll find pictures i'll find frame and you know when you're a new street photographer uh you want the easy access you want that people should accept you they should let you click pictures but there's an urdu word called uh, ehtram which means the relationship with people so you know once you go to a, a place again and again and again then uh, you build those relationships with people around you so maybe i'm not i'm i'm a bit of uh, introvert but yes now i know i have those familiar faces plus uh, my photography style has changed the way i used to click pre previously was more like you know i was clicking for my audience but what i click now is more about you know what i see in myself you know whatever i feel right is what i'm and what i'm shooting now and it's been 6 years i'm coming to old delhi so it's a it's a it's a relationship now from both the sides uh people welcome you i come i meet them i talk to them and i've been making pictures and enjoying the process too there there are several one thing which i love the most about this place is you know though it's in it's you know It's in a mega city like Delhi, you know. So, you know, and we're we're living in the capital, but we are so busy, you know. If somebody will ask us, you know, I'll you know about you know, they want to go to a place, probably you know, we'll just guide them. You know, you take this route, go left or right, uh, left or right. But I've noticed this thing several times, especially in old Delhi. If you'll ask somebody, you know, I lost the way. Which way should I go? Now, of course, I know the lanes. but they'll make sure they'll leave their work they'll take you to that place they'll offer you tea they'll ask you you know from which part of the city or world you are from who are in your family why are you clicking pictures 
earlier it was you know these question used to make me very uncomfortable but uh, i think once the connection is there then you enjoy such conversation and, and then you value that somebody is actually taking out time it's so easy for them to tell me you know you take this route and you know you'll reach wherever you you are asking but then if somebody is actually taking out time and uh, walking with you to take you that to that place is the relationship that you are building with that place or that person so i think editing and uh, sequencing go hand in hand and you know it's a very powerful tool that a photographer has in his or her own hands because you have the power to tell the story you have the power to mold the story the way you want to so usually i am how i learn and then how i unlearn is uh, the i i call it the voodoo process where you take the prints you spread them and then you pick a you know pick those pictures where you feel you know these are the right pictures but uh, i'm trying to choose uh, and go with another process where you know i go with the right intention first of all that this is what i want to shoot be it street also but you know uh, now i prepare myself that these are the areas i want to focus on this is the story i want to tell so the editing becomes less hectic uh, i'm sure uh, not many photographers enjoy the editing part of it but sequencing is something you know which uh, plays a very important role when i'm working on a photo essay or on a series the first and the last picture plays a very important role uh, you know how you begin and how you end so usually i the, those are the two pictures i pick uh, first is the the first and the last one and in between i just drop those strong anchors which are like pictures and you know i drop those anchors that these are the pictures i want to use in between and make it look like a you know we say the tailbone or uh, the backbone you know the spine you see of a fish you know so i make sure it's 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 a spine and you know that's how the sequencing of uh, or the editing of any series or maybe it's a exhibition you want to do maybe it's a book you want to do maybe it's an essay that you want to do but it should look like a a fish bone so uh, when i started i started uh, with taking portraits on the street so i was illiterate with this this term only uh that there is something called street photography there is something called photo walk so somebody approached me i went for the first photo walk i took my first port portrait and uh that's how that's how the journey started but uh, i remember i used to use a nikon uh, crop sensor camera then uh shifted to a full frame but that was a honestly that was a lot of weight for me i realized then i shifted to uh leica which is a much much uh, lighter camera and i am somebody who pr prefers you know to go closer to uh my subject or the people i'm clicking i was still feel subject becomes it's not the right word i want to use you know so i prefer going close to people while you know i'm making those pictures so uh i use a I previously also i used to use a prime lens is a 35 now 28 mm is uh, my go to but uh camera i think you know is plays a very less important role i'm i'm sure you uh, you bit you know you you must have heard it from lot of other photographers also but camera plays a very less important role when it comes to street photography fear is not the right word i would say uh, it was the discomfort that i had you know i am i'm partially introvert so the discomfort uh, so getting up you know, i'm i'm a morning person so i usually get up at 6 6:30 so getting up early was never a, you know a task for me but uh, i with time i realized i'm not 
talking to people of course you know street photography is, uh, is about uh, candid moments but they it's it's not the exact definition to it you know there are a lot of times you want to talk as well so now i deliberately challenge myself that if i'm going you know just make sure you talk to at least one person and break that barrier you know because the kind of information you know you you make that shot you take your pictures so i prefer to talk you know uh to anybody not specifically to that person uh uh where i'm taking the picture anybody in that area i'll go i'll sit i'll talk for 5 10 minutes so this is making things very easy for me also now you know i can see the change that i i'm getting more comfortable when i'm out there on the street you know but uh, the the fear was not there because i i genuinely respect the other person's privacy and space because uh, I know if somebody will come and you know put a camera in front of me and you know I I shoot from 28 mm so you can understand how how close I must be to you know to the people so if if they usually when whenever they say no I just smile I go back and even when they ask you know I just tell them you no know, I appreciate what they are doing I find it very interesting you know if they are wearing wearing something interesting I compliment them see you want to make good pictures I understand you want to pose them you want to print them you want to ex uh, uh, ex uh, exhibit them everything everything works but we should not forget that you know the most important thing is the human connection that you're making there you know if if somebody's out there and you're making a picture and they're asking you something genuinely please answer them compliment them of course you find something interesting that's why you're taking the picture so as as far as you know the human the humanity is you know still alive in you i think very few people will stop you from taking the pictures plus uh, you need to learn how to blend with the atmosphere blending in the atmosphere comes with so many so many different things about you know how you dress up how you carry yourself you know how open do you look in that environment so these things i learned with time it's not that there's, there was a hack book or probably you know the keys i got from somebody but yes with experience with time you learn and i'm i'm somebody who's always uh, open to learn more i honestly i still feel there is nothing called a perfect picture uh Five years back, what I used to like, I don't like those pictures anymore. But that doesn't mean those are not good pictures. It's just that uh, with time and experience, I have realized that uh, there was a time I used to like pictures who were like perfect composition, beautiful light. I still like them, but I think what I look more for is you know whether it's touching my soul or not. you know whether it's hitting me you know or probably some kind of emotion is triggering and uh, whether there is a story or not in this picture otherwise you know there are so many photographers who are making good pictures making trust me making good picture is easier than telling a story through your pictures I I used to take auto rickshaws and I used to participate in so many paintings competition at that time Camlin used to host so many drawing and painting competitions and I remember I used to go to Bal Bhavan and all these other schools and participate but never thought that you know I'll I'll make a career out of it but uh I'm some I'm somebody who's into something then I'll give my 100% I forget you know I'll I'll forget about eating drinking and everything and now because we have phones also in our hands so I I don't even take calls if I'm like totally into something especially if I'm painting or scribbling or sketching 
or if I am shooting. So same thing happened when uh, I started baking as well. So it was more like a passion. I, st I, I don't bake that often now, but that is something I truly enjoy. It's a, it's a detox for me. That same thing happened when I started learning Kathak. So the, all these art forms, be it painting, be it photography, be it dance. So, you know, it's, it's something which I feel that, and I want to learn more. There are a couple of more things I, you know, there is one, I want to learn how to play sitar, which I don't know when I will be able to achieve, but yet it's in the bucket list. So hopefully 